Um, on our way to Baku for our little pre-worlds camp. It's only a short couple of days over there, but looking to learn the track. Um, just get a feel for wh what things are, where things are. So when it comes world's time in uh, just over a month, it's not a shock to the system. So looking forward to a good little weekend getaway. And here we go, getting busy. <laughs> Oh. Got a whole lot of miles, better run and we're done. Push it through in the ups and the downs, throw it up. Got a whole lot of miles, better run and we're done. Push on through, don't be running out of time, throw it up. First look at the World Championship track, Velo Park in Baku. Track is beautiful, very nice facility, plenty of area, and I can see a really nice World Championships happening here. An ocean right there. We just finished up our second session on the track and we actually had the chance to do it under these awesome lights look at them so we got two out of the four lights that we have and look how bright that is <sighs> can't complain about these lights and this track I think it has to be one of my favourites, you know. The third straight is really technical. Um, the second straight's really nice. Look at this first jump. It's just a double. <laughs> oh well. How's that? Unreal. Track's really smooth. I know people have been sceptical about the location, but man, this facility is just second to none. All right, practice done. Got two solid sessions in on the track. Um, yeah, very happy. Not a lot of wind today or yesterday, so we got really lucky. Um, now we just packed up, bikes are in bags, having some quick lunch. We're gonna go check out the F1 racing. You only see what really happens on the on the track when you see it on TV, but when you actually go behind the scenes and the engineering and, and everything that goes behind actually um, to have a successful weekend on the track is absolutely incredible. So apparently they go through about 20 sets of tyres per weekend. So that's how many they get. Oh. That's how know. many they're allowed. <laughs> I don't know, Len. I have no idea. <laughs> Thing 
what happened. <laughs> you know how you went into the toilet? Yeah. Yeah, well, um, there was cameras like all set up down there, ready for Daniel to walk down. Daniel walked down the stairs, came straight up here, like, oh, and then he walked in, and then realised that someone was in the toilet. <laughs> No, I was outside as well. I was oh. outside as well. He said, oh, is that busy? Like, yeah, it's like, ah, and he walked out. Oh, <laughs> so it wasn't you. No, it wasn't me doing the pumps in the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> that would have um, been funny. Yeah, it would That would have been. been a legendary moment. I thought it was going to be you. Imagine that. Danny Ricardo misses his qualifying because yeah. I was in the toilet doing the pumps. Yeah, so then he had to walk, like, all the way down there. Like, a sea of cameras following him just to go to the toilet he because just, someone, just wants was, to go to the toilet. someone was in the Red Bull toilet. I thought it was Kai but apparently it wasn't. That would have been a funny story. Uh, that would have been a funny story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good morning! <laughs>